Percent efficient. You've seen the reports? Yes, they're very impressive. Do you think you will have any difficulty in marketing this? None of it's as good as you say. I've already interested a certain government. The British? Do you care? Not at all. We are a commercial organization, Mr. Holmes. I'm not in the slightest bit interested in your old-fashioned concepts of patriotism. Now we're talking the same language. What's your price? Ten million dollars, American. That's a great deal of money. That's a great deal of genius and cheap at the price. I think you may assume you have a deal. I'll get confirmation from my principals within the next few days. Okay, we go to my office, huh? And don't forget. All right. That young man, who is he? Who, oh, Franklin? Oh, he's been my laboratory assistant for about a year. Why? I don't know. Face seems vaguely familiar. Does he know what you've been working on? Oh, no. It has been developed under the strictest security. Reiner. That man Franklin, I remember where I saw him now. He's an agent for CIA, American Intelligence. This man Franklin gets this to his government, it would be absolutely worthless. No country could use it, knowing that another would retaliate. What are you talking about? It was too late. Then get after him. He has to be stopped at any price. Do you understand? Yes. Get after him. <laughs>
Mr. Cordelia Winfield comes down, would you tell her I'll be on the terrace, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Operator, any word on my call to Baron? I'm sorry, there's no reply. I don't see how I can be engaged all this time. It's the American Embassy. I've tried several times. Oh. All right, call me. You're a rat. Hello, Peter. Cordelia! <laughs> Two years ago, you said you'd take me to the race. I'm still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute. Come and meet my boss on the terrace. Please, please. Yes, sir. Well, I've heard a lot about you, Mannering. Uh, you here on business? Yeah, I get around to the Swiss dealers at least once every year. What business are you in? Oh, I'm a chemist. I've been doing some uh, research with the private company over here. Peter always said that he discovered the secret of eternal youth for me. You found it yet? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, do I look 112? <laughs> ah, thank you. It's not much use anyway. It's uh, got no ink. Put you down for a bottle at Christmas. <laughs> Prose it. See, I speak the language. Mr. Franklin, telephone, sir. Oh, thank you. Uh, excuse me, I've been expecting this. I'll be right back. He seems like a nice guy. Mm, known him for years. Never been quite sure, but I think he did little undercover work for American intelligence. Oh, well, he seemed a little edgy. Now, let's get down to work. Schedule for tomorrow. I've completed the contract, but the buyer didn't show up. Delayed? Look, you don't seem to understand how important this is. I'm running into a lot of competition. It'll take me 16 hours to drive to Bern. <sighs> okay, okay. I'll contact you later. Everything completed? Well, that about does it. Any luck we should be through by Saturday evening. Good. Time we had some dinner, isn't it? Yeah. Should we invite uh, Peter to join us? Well, it's all right with me. Stanley, where is he? Waiter. Is Mr. Franklin still on the telephone? No, I saw him uh, leaving in his car about five minutes ago. about two kilometers ahead. Close up just a little. How much longer will his car hold up? Well, once he gets on those mountain roads, there'll be quite a strain. Shouldn't take long then. Good, good. But what happened? He stopped. That's all right. Probably the garage. Fill up, will you?
It's no good. It's stopped. Do you think he's found it? Possible. Might have broken down. We'd better keep in visual contact. There is no doubt in your mind, madam. No. Sorry to have subjected you to this. You know yet how it happened? Who, who can tell? Perhaps he was driving too fast, or perhaps there are so many things. The inquiry will establish the cause. Is there anything we can do? No, I don't think so. All things will be handled by the American consulate. Well, if you need us, we'll be at our hotel. Oh, there is one thing. Uh, his personal effects. Are there any relatives? He has a brother in London. I see. Well, I sent it on to him. Well, would it be all right if I took them? I'd like to do that. I can see no objection. Here they are. There is a, a list of the items. Would you mind signing for them? He had a pen this afternoon. I don't see it here. A gold pen. It wasn't found. Here they are. Thank you, madam. And thank you for your help. Thank you. Good evening, Inspector. Good evening. Good evening, madam. It's always so much worse for a woman. Well, let's get this wrapped up. May I use your phone? Come on. Inspector Strauss. We've had uh, the identification made, so if you prepare the documents, I'll be back in half an hour time to sign them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Goodbye. Could you help me, please? I wanted to inquire about Peter Franklin. Oh, yeah, I am Inga Sorensen, and he was working for me. What can I do for you? Yeah, I don't know. I came as soon as... as soon as I heard. That was very good of you, but everything's been taken care of. Oh, I see. Uh, well, what about his personal effects? I could send them to him. You know there is a brother. Yes, I know. The young lady who made the identification told me so. She's taking the things to him personally. Oh, the young lady? An old friend, apparently. It's um, Cordelia Winfield. She's staying at the Park Hotel. Oh, well, if, if there really is nothing I can do, I shall go. And, uh, and thank you very much. Good night, Miss Oh, no, no, you have been so kind. Did you get his things? No, and after the crash, you should have gone down! Well, we didn't dare. What if the file had broken? No. We'd have been infected at once. Another car stopped almost immediately. Security officer. things were gone, but I know who has them. Unless you have them, I'm afraid I'm not really interested, my dear. When you can guarantee that no one else has it, then we'll talk business. No, wait, wait! I'll be here a day or two longer. Drive on, Sergeant.
Sergeant. I think it might pay us to keep an eye on Miss Sardinson. Yes, sir. If we get to that bacteria first, we stop being middlemen and take the full purchase price for ourselves. All right? Very good, Sam. Now we go after Miss Winter. We have to learn if Franklin hid the file in his things. But how do you intend to do that? You think the girl is just going to hand them over to you? Oh, no, of course not. Equally, do you think that I am going to give up all the years of my work and ten million dollars? Oh, no, I won't do that. All right, I will deal. And Frederick, no loose If she has the slightest suspicion, don't hesitate. Miss Winfield's room, please. There should be. I've tried several times.
Cordelia? what he was after. There's nothing of value amongst it. Well, the police didn't find his pen, you remember it? Yes, yes, I do. What's so special about a pen? Except it didn't write. Perhaps... Oh, no, that's silly. Now, you were going to say that maybe there was something inside it. You could be right. He was going to sign the bill for the drinks with it, and suddenly he remembered it wouldn't write. Then he dropped it, and he panicked, really panicked. But the, whatever it was was in the pen. Why did my night visitor pull a cigar to pieces? Maybe because the people who are after it... Didn't know where it was hidden. Yes, I'm not being very bright this morning. It could be it's still out at the wreck. The police and our other friends must have already searched there. You told me yesterday you thought your friend Franklin worked for the CIA. There could be a lot more to this. Take care of my appointments, will you? Gonna look over the wreck? Later. First, I'm gonna do a little shopping. <laughs>
your hands on top of the car. And now perhaps you can tell us what you were looking for. Well, I guess I was looking for you. I figured somebody would show up. I want to make a deal. A deal? That's right. Your friend at the hotel the other night didn't stick around long enough to talk terms. Well, you want what Franklin had. I've got it. It's nothing. Am I? Don't move. Keep your hands on the car. I was just going to show you Franklin's pen. His pen? Search him. No, don't worry, darling. If he tries anything, I will kill him. I've seen it before. It's Franklin's. The file's not here. But it's safe. If anything happens to me, it goes to the police. How much, Mannering? Well, that's more like it. Now, I want to know what was in that file. I want the truth. I know the general area of research that Franklin was working in. If I think you're lying, there'll be no deal. There's no secret. Not on our part. Look, Franklin stole a very special bacteria from my laboratory. And naturally, we are anxious to recover it. Well, what kind of bacteria? Well, that's not Oh, Mr. Mannering. It is a very powerful strain. Quite new. Germ warfare. Oh, what the politicians do with it is no concern of mine. I'll bet it's not. Mannering. If you are willing to talk terms with me, I hardly think you're in the position to criticize my motives. Well, go ahead, Doctor. Continue your briefing. The bacteria is contagious. Any contact with it results in near immediate death for the victim. And at this stage, there is no known cure. Well, that must be a disadvantage. I mean, how can the attacker protect his own people? They don't need it. The bacteria survives only in living matter. It could spread swiftly through a populated area where life exists. But in isolation, that is to say where there are no new cells, the bacteria becomes ineffective. Almost immediately. A matter of moments. You could uh, wipe out a town and then in a half hour your own troops could go in without danger. Exactly. Quite a weapon, don't you think? to make the H-bomb look like the bow and arrow. Be at my hotel at 8 o'clock tonight. You can have the violin. But it'll cost you a million dollars. Anybody home? works, man. Thank you. 
Jennifer, it should look like an accident. better to let the police handle this. Nothing they can do. But you said yourself that the brake cables on Peter's car are being filed through. Surely that's enough for them to start with. The way he died isn't important anymore. It's why they had to kill him that matter. The bacteria. That's right. The police can investigate all they want. Inga Sorensen can simply deny any knowledge of the bacteria. Right now, we can't even prove it ever existed. But they'll do an autopsy on the man at the garage. Won't that be proof enough? The autopsy will prove nothing. Once that bacteria is released, it can survive only in living tissue. If it isn't transmitted in about 20 minutes, it dies. No trace. Then I don't see what we can do. Well, neither do I yet. We'll just have to play it by ear when we get to the laboratory. We've got one thing going for us. Peter had his mail addressed to the Sorensen Labs. They won't exactly welcome you with open arms, you know. They've already killed to keep this thing secret. Well, that's just one more good reason for trying to stop them. Look. Quit worrying about it. Go and get packed. We've got a long drive to make. I'll meet you in five minutes in the lobby. Oh, did you check the alarm system? Yes, sir. All in order. I'd like you to stay on duty tonight. It's just possible Franklin might have talked to someone. Yes, sir. I'd be glad to help, sir, if there's anything I can do. I would appreciate it. Newman here will show you around. Uh, would you like to take a look? Thanks. I presume it's not dangerous yet. Oh, no! It has to go through many more processes before it becomes active. At the moment, it is a nice, harmless little bacteria. Fascinating. Now, these other processes, how long will they take? Oh, four or five hours. So that by midnight at the latest, you should have the sample batch ready. Oh, yes, just a small quantity, but sufficient to demonstrate to your principles its efficiency. Strange. But? Your apparent unconcerned at what you're doing? A long time ago, I decided to market my work and leave morality to the buyer. And the buyer pays more for the weapon than the cure. Quite. The defense budget of any world power could finance enough research to rid us of all our ills. But ask any government to believe that drugs are more important than rockets Excuse me, please. I, I have to get on with my work. John, I've been thinking. We've got one advantage. You mean the fact they think I'm dead? Sure. As far as they're concerned, you died at the garage. They're not expecting you. Well, maybe not me, but somebody. See, Franklin brought this thing out into the open. They don't know he didn't talk. They almost lost it once. They won't take any more chances.
All quiet. I never waste too much. Nobody's going to be in here. I'd better check inside. Oh. Better take this. What is it? There are electronic beams in the grounds. Anybody breaks them, that thing buzzes. Well, we might as well start somewhere. I'll take a look around. You stay here. Okay, yeah. I just want to get the layout. I'll be back. somebody. Templeton Green, the police. I don't care, but you get somebody to take action, you understand? What stage are you at now? Sergeant Bishop. Out in the ground somewhere. He's helping Newman on guard. That's all right, isn't it? Perfectly. He'll enjoy it. Be like old times for him. I'll go and take over from Bishop. What, what is that? I'll check the fuses. You'll take a look at the cables outside. Yes. No, what has happened to the power? We're checking on it now. They must get it back on. If the temperature drops, the bacteria will die. in the ground.
right, try it again. I can't reach. I can't. You've got to now. Come on. That's it. Now you're getting it. As soon as you're ready. Can't see your hands. We'll just light it and uh, hold it still. to seal the files. And in ten minutes, you're on your way, yeah? Splendid. I'll be leaving in a few minutes. Would you bring my car around? Yes, sir. What are you going to do about them? Don't concern yourself about that, Mr. Holmes. They'll be dealt with. drive to Geneva. Yes, I'm catching the morning plane. We should have killed you, Mannering. We'll sit around and talk about it some other time. Just come on in. What is it you want? Money? No, not money. Why else would you go to this trouble? Why have you? Because I am a scientist. Because my work is important. Oh, it's important to kill. To make something its only purpose is to destroy? That is for the politicians to decide. It is not my responsibility. Oh, yes, that belongs to all of us, particularly someone like you. I cannot control what use is made of my work. And if the world is stupid and wants to be blown to kingdom come, that is not my affair. And if it is destroyed by disease, it is not my concern. I am a scientist. That doesn't set you apart. Where's the bacteria? Well, listen to me. Where is it? No, you can't destroy this. It's my work. I built it up myself. I, you don't... Where is it? Find it. Not now. I think the Swiss authorities can take care of that one. Come on, let's go. Don't touch me. Look, Miss Sorensen, I think you better face it. It's finished. Come on, let's go. Virginia, look out! Drop it!
until somebody comes up with the same thing again. Or something worse.